Assalamu alaikum. We're going to learn about arrays and repeated addition. Let's count the butterflies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight butterflies. What is an array? It is an arrangement of equal groups of objects in rows and columns. When we arrange objects or numbers horizontally, we get objects in rows. Rows go side by side. When we arrange the objects or numbers vertically, they are called columns. Columns go up and down. How many rows and columns are there in this array? Let's find out the number of rows first. One, two. We have two rows here. Now let's find out the number of columns. One, two, three, four. We have four columns. Let's write a repeated addition sentence for this array. When we arrange objects in the form of an array, we can count them quickly. There are two rows here, and each row has four butterflies in it, which means we will add the number four two times. This is our number sentence. Four butterflies plus four butterflies equal eight butterflies. It's called repeated addition because we are adding the same number over and over again. It was much quicker than counting these butterflies one by one. Here I have made another array which looks different with the same number of butterflies. You can make arrays in different ways. Now this array has four rows. Let's see how. One, two, three, four. And there are two butterflies in each row, which means that we will be adding the number two over and over again. How many times? Four times. So two plus two plus two plus two equals eight. It is the same as skip counting by twos. Two four plus four plus four six eight. These balls are grouped vertically and there are three balls in each column. You can add the number of objects by making vertical groups or horizontal. The answer will be the same because we have the same number of objects. Here we have three balls in each column and we have four columns which means that we will add the number three over and over again. How many times? Four times. So when we add the number three four times, we get 12. It's the same as skip counting by threes. Three, six, nine, 12. Here I have grouped the balls in rows and there are four balls in each row. I will be adding four balls three times. Four plus four plus four. And my answer is twelve. And when you count each of these balls one by one, you will get to know that there are twelve balls in total. Let's make an array for this number sentence. 5 plus 5 equals 10. So I am going to draw a row of 5 stars. 
I need to make one more row because I have one more five. We have five stars in each row and we have two rows, which means that we will be adding the number five two times. And when we add the number five two times, we get the number ten. Five plus five equals ten. Here, I have arranged the same number of stars in a different way. There are two stars in each row and we have five rows here which means that we will be adding the number 2 five times. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 10.